Beethoven Brawl Stone Sonata, which starts ba 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 and Beethoven was doing that not to repeat the notes so much, but to extend the sound. That was really the only way to extend the sound because they were done. About 1920, in Russia, in Moscow, Fermin uh, was a student in physics, and he showed people this particular thing that he had structured, where you could move your hand in the air and have sound come out. And it was very, very interesting, and uh, especially since Lenin at the time thought that the most important thing was to bring electricity to Russia. San Francisco, uh, Don Buchla was developing a synthesizer, and the person that was playing, playing it mostly at the time, and that became ultimately very, uh, uh, very famous for it, was Mort Zabotnik playing Silver Apples of the Moon. And let me give you an idea of that. Bob Moe was opening his door in upstate New York. And I came back to work in Albany, New York, for the state, uh, state university. And I was in Los Angeles, and I was on a music studio for them. I'd like to thank you.